The chameleon eye is an amazing organ. And one thing chameleon keepers learned very quickly is that the eyes are a great indication of chameleon health. In today's video, we're going to go over how to read the chameleon's eye to tell what might be going wrong. Monitoring our chameleon's eyes is a valuable tool for us chameleon keepers because we know so many things will show itself through our chameleon's eyes. And so it's a powerful tool to know whether something is off. On the other hand, it's a little bit difficult because so many things that could go wrong have the same symptoms, and so it becomes a challenge to figure out what exactly is going on. But when we chameleon keepers do see something wrong with the eyes, we are on high alert because we know that things won't show up in the eyes until they are advanced. And at that point, we don't have much time to be within that window that we can treat it and the chameleon can recover. I'm going to go over a number of conditions that will show itself in the eye. The problem is a number of these conditions are treated completely differently, but they may have the same symptoms. And so it's important that you figure out exactly what the problem is, because if you treat the wrong problem, that's more than useless. It's actually dangerous because a number of these things have a short window where if you treat it during that window, the chameleon can recover. If it goes on too long, the chameleon won't be able to recover. And so if you're treating the wrong problem, your time is ticking. And this is why it's important that you team up with an exotic veterinarian that has reptile experience because they can help you get to exactly what the problem is and you treat the right problem. Now, before we go into the eye issues, I want to say that I am a highly experienced chameleon keeper, but I am not a veterinarian. And so I'm coming to you from the perspective of someone who's seen these things for decades but I team up with my veterinarian and I encourage you to do the same. Everything that I'm showing you here is not a substitute for a vet visit. What I am hoping that this video does is give you an idea of how serious a problem may be and help you be an effective partner with your exotic veterinarian to try and solve the problem. So let's start off with what you can see when you look at a chameleon's eye. This is an example of a healthy chameleon eye. This is what we want to see all the time. Notice the eye is constantly scanning the area. The actual eye is on top of a turret-like thing that can point the eye all around so the chameleon can see in any direction. Even if the chameleon is still, the eyes will always be scanning for trouble. The trouble signs in an eye are number one, when it's closed during the day, Number two, when it's sunken in, and number three is when it's swelling up. Now, a special note about chameleon's eyes being closed during the day. Uh, this is a sign of trouble because during the daylight hours, chameleons will always be scanning for danger. If their eyes are closed, it means that something is bothering them more than the possibility of being eaten, so we know it's serious. The only exception to this is the chameleons, because they know their schedule, and if they know the lights are going to be going out in an hour, they will find their place they want to go to sleep and they will actually go to sleep before the lights go out. So in that one instance, it's okay that chameleons have their eyes closed during the day, but they do not nap. So if they're not turning in for the night, it's a problem. The first condition I'd like to go over is when the chameleon's eye is swollen. And you will know this when you see this because the chameleon's eye is suddenly five times larger than it was before and is telescoping out of its head. And so the question is, What's going on? Well, like many of these things, it can be anything from a minor irritation to a life-threatening problem that you're seeing. In this picture right here, this panther chameleon, I came down and suddenly that eye was telescoping out. And honestly, in this one, I don't know what the problem was because after a few days, it went away by itself. I was waiting to get into the vet to figure out what it was and the problem resolved itself. So it was probably that there was something inside the eye, some foreign body was inside the eye, causing discomfort, irritation, and somehow the chameleon was able to dislodge it and get it out of there, and the eye returned to normal. On the other hand, if we look at this situation, this Jackson's chameleon had a very similar swollen eye, but in this case, it turned out to be a result of a bacterial infection. And the bacterial infection didn't start in the eye, it actually started in the mouth. And there is a tube that goes from the eye down to the mouth. It's called the lacrimal nasal duct, and it's for draining fluids into the mouth. Unfortunately, if there's a bacterial infection in the mouth, that bacterial infection can travel up this tube and get into the eye. And that's what happened in this particular case. 
The vet was able to remove the infection and then give me antibiotics, and the chameleon recovered from both the bacterial infection and the eyes went down to normal. So you can see some of the challenges we chameleon keepers go through when we run into these problems. In one case, the situation resolved itself just under the care of the chameleon. In this other case, this would have been death to the chameleon if I had not gotten antibiotics. So this goes to show you the value of having an exotic vet that you can uh, rely on who can take a look and figure out what the problem is. These swollen eyes must be uncomfortable for the chameleon because you'll see them rubbing their eyes on the branches or anything in the cage. And so I suggest to you to not wait and see if it resolves itself. Take your chameleon to the vet and, and figure out exactly what it is because if it is something important, you need to treat it as soon as possible. We do have another condition where the chameleon will suck its eyes into its skull. So its eyes will be uh, flush with the skull. And this can be due to uh, two conditions. One where there is injury to the eye itself and the other is an indication of a problem somewhere else. So you'll see the eye either sunken or closed or both when there's injury to the eye. And that can be a scratch on the eye just from normal walking around the cage or maybe a, a feeder insect fought back. But a closed and sunken eye is an indication that there is a injury to the eye itself. Now we also see this in vitamin A deficiency. And this is where the chameleon doesn't get enough vitamin A in his system. The key way to differentiate between these two is the one where there is physical trauma will be all of a sudden the eyes are closed and sunken in. With the vitamin A deficiency, it happens over time. And so at the beginning of this problem, your chameleon will show its eyes closed and probably sunken in, but it will be able to open its eyes to eat. As the condition progresses over a week or two, the chameleon will not be able to open its eyes to see. And so your chameleon will just be sitting there with its eyes closed. The huge difference between the two is how quickly did the condition appear? Now, some things that have the same symptoms of the sunken and closed eyes but aren't an eye problem are things like dehydration or that there's an infection inside the body, whether it's bacterial, viral, fungal, or parasitic. Whatever it is, it's causing so much discomfort that the chameleon hunkers in and isn't feeling well, and you see it in their eyes. The proper approach at this point is to figure out exactly what the problem is because every one of those conditions has a completely different treatment, and you don't wanna let any of those go any longer than you have to. And there's one more condition where you may see sunken eyes, and that's when the chameleon is threatened or being defensive, sometimes they'll pull in their eyes a little bit as a, uh, I guess, to defend their uh, sensitive areas. But if this is what's happening, the chameleon should go back to normal as soon as they're in their cage and feeling safe. And now it's time to talk about closed eyes. Many chameleon keepers know that when they see their chameleon with eyes closed during the day, that it's a huge warning sign. The problem, of course, is that a chameleon will close their eyes for a variety of reasons. And that's why I went over those other conditions first is because to determine exactly what's going on when your chameleon has its eyes closed, you need to know a little bit more of the clues surrounding that condition. First of all is over what time period did they close their eyes? Was it immediate overnight or did it take a couple of weeks for it to happen? And two, what are the other symptoms surrounding the closing of the eyes? Because the closing of the eyes just can signify that uh, whatever's going on is so bad that the chameleon wants to hunker down, essentially have a sick day. So that leaves us to figure out what's going on. The problem with seeing a chameleon with its eyes closed is because that doesn't happen until whatever condition is going on is in its advanced stages. And so when you see a chameleon with its eyes closed, you immediately get that vet visit. One of the more common times where you see eyes closed is when you're at the advanced stages of a respiratory infection. And unfortunately, this is one of the more common ailments in our chameleon hobby. Respiratory infections are a bacterial infection inside the lungs. And when that happens, the chameleon has trouble breathing. Respiratory infections are caused by a weakened immune system that can't fight off the bacteria that's always there. And that almost always is due to poor husbandry because poor husbandry gives physical stress to the chameleon as they're trying to survive in substandard conditions and that weakens the immune system. When the immune system is weakened, it can't fight off the bacteria that is always there. In a respiratory infection, there are some symptoms that you can notice 
before you get to the point where the eyes are closed. The first thing you'll notice is that they stick their nose up in the air, and this is to straighten out their esophagus so they can breathe easier. Then they breathe with their mouth open, trying to get more and more oxygen in. They're fighting against the decreased lung space because the infection is spreading within the lungs. And then finally, you start getting the eyes sinking in and closing. And at this point, you are at such an advanced stage that you need to get to the vet. Unfortunately, it's this dramatic stage that people start asking, what's the problem with my chameleon? And at that point, we have to say how serious it really is. Once the chameleon gets to the point where the eyes are closed, you need some serious antibiotics to try to turn the tide. Now, if the eyes are closed due to a fungal infection or a viral infection or a parasitic infection, you will get the chameleon hunkering down, but they won't stick their nose in the air. So that's a clue right there. So now if it's not a respiratory infection and they're hunkered down with their eyes closed, we got to figure out what it is from there. One tool is you can get a fecal check. And that's where you get the poop of the chameleon taken into the vet's office and you see if there's any parasites. A high load of parasites could produce those external symptoms in a chameleon. And then finally, one of the causes of a chameleon going closed-eyed during the day is for emotional distress. They'll get this when they are overly stressed and have given up. You'll see this with chameleons that are housed together, and one of them will, will stay at the lower levels and, and sometimes withdraw into themselves and close their eyes. And this happens often with cohabitation. That's why we say, don't keep your chameleons together. And this can happen with forced handling, where you force your chameleon to stay on your hand, and they know they can't escape. And so if you continue that, and your chameleon is of a shy nature, then you could be overly stressing your chameleon. When a chameleon closes its eyes and falls asleep on you, that is not a sign of trust. That is a sign of extreme stress, and they're giving up trying to escape. I know we want so much for that to mean that they trust us and they've bonded with us and they want to sleep on us like we have with dogs and cats and humans. That's our culture. It's not their culture. They have no family structure to develop those kind of emotions. And that's why if the chameleon is on you and has their eyes closed, that is a serious red flag. In chameleon culture, that is not good. So if you have a chameleon that you consider friendly, you really need to take a strong look at what you're doing and see if that's something that you're projecting onto your chameleon or if that truly is your chameleon's choice. The big test is, do they do it on their own? In all of this, we need to be considerate of what chameleons are, respect that, and don't push them beyond what they can handle. In the end, most eye issues and issues presenting themselves in the eyes are a result of poor husbandry. So it is within your power to prevent these eye issues and other issues by simply paying attention to the proper husbandry conditions for your species of chameleon. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to have a long, healthy life with your chameleon without ever going to the vet. Now, we can't prevent all of life's bumps and bruises, but the mission of the Chameleon Academy is to make them as few as possible because the Chameleon Academy is here for your success. So go check out chameleonacademy.com and look for an exotic pet vet before you have a problem because unfortunately one with reptile experience may be a little bit difficult to find. But when you do, treat them like gold. This is Bill Strand signing off and I will see you next time.